hey there, it's me, the Before You Buy Guy. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Eufy C1 Smart Scale. This is a detailed, hands-on review. I'm gonna talk you through the specs and features of this particular device and show you how to set it up using the app. And I'm gonna talk you through all the different body measurements that this particular scale can actually measure. This channel is all about helping you as a consumer to make a more informed purchase decision Let's get started. Now the scale itself, it comes in two options. You can get this in black and there's also a white version. So there's not a whole lot that comes in the box with these scales. You get the scales itself, some leaflet product information and three AAA batteries, which you will need to operate the scales. It's great that they include the batteries because you don't have to go out and buy some if you don't happen to have some around your house. These scales are a square and they measure 28 centimeters by 28 centimeters. The scale itself sits about two centimeters off the ground. Taking a look at the back of the device, you've got four feet that are made of a kind of a plasticky material and they sort of have a little bit of movement and give in them these feet. And there's a little bit of rubber at the bottom of each foot. And then you've got this plastic like body where the battery and internal components for the scales are held. Um, you do have a sticker here with some product information from Eufy. It looks like these scales were made in China. It is probably worth mentioning that if you wanna get accurate results from these scales, you will have to use them on a hard surface. If you put this scale on a soft surface like a carpet or a rug, it's not gonna work properly and the measurements are gonna be way less than what they're actually meant to be. To get an accurate result, you need to put this on a hard floor like tiles or a wooden floor. As long as it's a solid surface, you should get an accurate reading. The top of the scales has these four metal circles. These circles send electrical current up through your body to measure lots of different things. But if you do want this to work, you actually have to have bare feet. If you live in a cold climate and you don't want to take off your socks and shoes to put on a cold, hard metal and glass scales, you're probably not going to get best value for your money. You're not going to get all those extra readings that you get when you do take off your shoes. In fact, to be completely honest, to get the most accurate reading, you should probably jump on these scales naked. I'm not going to give you a demonstration of that, but that way it's not going to have any of your clothes or anything that you're wearing like a watch interfering with the actual signal when it's measuring different things through your body. Now these metal circles are around about 10 and a half centimeters apart from each other. I mean this should be about right for most people but if you do have really small feet uh, these scales may not work for you or if for a child for example uh, if they if you wanted to get body measurements for a child uh, and their feet don't easily fit on both of these measurement points I can't imagine you would get an accurate reading. Like many scales, you can switch this on easily just by putting some light weight on the scale. Just to be clear, you can't feel the current when it's coursing through your body. It's not painful or tingly. There's really no sensation at all. It just feels like using a normal scale. With bare feet, it does feel a little bit cold. This scale can weigh in increments of 0.1 kilograms or 100 grams because it rounds up to the nearest 100 grams. You're not going to get a really accurate detailed measurement like you might with kitchen scales that can measure to the nearest gram. Let's test out the scale for accuracy using an everyday scales accuracy test. Over here, I've got one bag of dog food. Over here, I've got the smart scale. Now this bag of dog food is three kilograms of dog food, according to the manufacturer. So hopefully, in theory, when we put this dog food on the scale, it should weigh three kilograms. Let's have a look. And there it is guys, three kilograms. It looks like this scale from Eufy is pretty accurate. It is getting that exact three kilogram measurement from this three kilogram bag of dog food. If you try and weigh something that's much lighter, like this power bank, I've done a full review on this power bank. I'll put a link on the screen for that now. Um, but as you can see, when I put this power bank on the scales, it doesn't measure anything at all. Now, obviously this power bank isn't completely weightless, 
Now the reason for this is these scales will only start to measure after a certain weight. I don't think this is really gonna be a problem. Most people, I think, are definitely gonna weigh more than the minimum weight for this particular scales. The scale can measure between 11 and 397 pounds, or between five and 180 kilograms. So if you do wanna measure something that's in between that range, either lower or higher, these scales are probably not the best option for you. So in order to use this scale as a smart scale, you have to download the Eufy Life app. Without the app, you're not gonna get all this extra information um, that really you wanna get. That's why you've purchased these scales. First of all, you go to the Apple or Google Play store, search for Eufy Life and then download the app. After downloading the app for the first time, it will prompt you to log in using a Eufy account. Unfortunately, there's no way to use the app without logging in to the account. Um, I really don't want um, Eufy slash Anchor keeping detailed records of all my data, especially relating to my health information. But just for you guys, I've downloaded the app, I've, I've made an account, and let's have a look at some of the results. So in order to connect this with your scales, it's really easy when you switch your scales on for the first time, it's automatically gonna go into Bluetooth pairing mode. You'll see a little Bluetooth icon flashing here in the corner, and then jump into the app, follow the steps, and you'll connect straight away. I didn't have any problems at all connecting the scales to the mobile phone. After it is paired, you'll be able to jump on the scale and see the weight pop up on your phone in real time. This is great, but if you have your phone in your hand, you're actually weighing yourself and your phone as well. So if you have a big bulky phone, you may be getting an inaccurate reading. Instead, you might wanna prop your phone up somewhere so that you can see the results without having it in your hand. Otherwise, you're really not getting an accurate reading depending on how heavy your phone is. So according to Eufy, there's 12 different body measurements that this particular scale can measure. Let's have a look at all these 12 measurements to see exactly what you're getting. So the first measurement is pretty simple. It's your weight. This will tell you exactly how much you weigh on the scales. The next measurement is the body mass index or BMI. So the BMI is a very well known measurement of whether you're healthy, underweight or overweight. Um, and in order for this to work accurately, you do actually need to input your height into the app. Next here is the body fat percentage. Now this is the total mass of your fat divided by the total body mass. Um, so really that's not much different from BMI. Um, it's just a different way of measuring the same thing essentially. The next measurement is water, which has a look at how much water percentage you have in your body. According to the app, having sufficient water can help promote the body's metabolism. So the next measurement is muscle mass percentage. Similar to body fat percentage, um, this measures how much muscle you have in your whole body and what percentage of your whole body is muscle when compared to everything else you've got going on. A bone mass, same thing, having a look at uh, how much of your body is made out of bone. Uh, the average bone content for adults is between around 3 and 5%. You can keep track of that over a long term to see if your bone mass is increasing or decreasing. Uh, and then you've got BMR. The basal metabolic rate refers to the amount of energy used while at rest throughout the day. Uh, BMR is based on a person's age, gender, height and weight. So again, really you've got to input extra information into the app to actually get a result for that. Next is visceral fat, which is a type of body fat that is stored within the abdominal cavity and protects important internal organs. It's probably a worthwhile metric uh, to keep track of. The next measurement is lean body mass, and this refers to the amount of body weight that isn't fat. This is similar to body fat percentage. A lot of these body measurements are really just a different way of measuring the same thing. So yes, technically you are getting 12 different measurements. A lot of them are overlapping. I just wanna make you aware of that information. Next is body fat mass, similar to body fat percentage. So that's just the total amount of fat that you have in your body. 
and then the total amount of bone, bone mass, and then muscle mass. Um, and that's all the different measurements that you get with this particular scales. All of these measurements are just estimates. It's not gonna be 100% accurate like if you'd gone to the doctor and get like a skin calipers test, for example. Um, they are good estimates, but they are still estimates. It's really important that you keep that in mind when you're using these scales. One of the things I really like about these scales is the style, especially in black with the metal circles. I think they look really good in a modern stylish home. I like how many different measurements the scales do give you, the 12 different measurements, but a lot of these measurements are really just the same thing, repeated in a different way. Unfortunately, there is no option to display all of these specific measurements on the scale itself. You can only do that through the app. I would have liked to have had an option to use the scales independently without connecting to the app, especially because you do have to sign into an account. Overall, I think that these scales are very good value. You get a lot of features for the price that you're paying. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot more technology related reviews on this channel. Um, you can check out some of my other videos just here. I'll see you next time.